Welcome back to an episode of We Are Still In The Camp And I wanted to do something related to spells, but not this one I actually wanted to open up uh, that thing here, the Necromancy of Thay Only problem is the last episode, I went a little bit too high up and accidentally got the parasites But thank goodness I saved all the time So, uh, let's open up uh, the book book is locked tight with no visible keyhole only an oval recess in the cover's mouth hmm a recess fitting for hmm a nice you gem. try to examine the book but the longer you stare the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in who are you what's well, colored right next to me that's weird everybody seems to be right next to me Interesting. Place the amethyst in the slot on the book's cover. The amethyst can be found in the spider gate. Uh, drop the tomb, ready to destroy it. Have uh... Nope, still not. Uh, give the book to a story. Why do I want to give it to a story? All right, let's open that thing. Everybody disapproves. The book's thing. pull is irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly, you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Okay. Oh, we can have a saving throw. Turn to the next page. Oh, okay. Dr. Sixile. Huh. What well, obscured the uh, by shadow the wearer gains plus one to saving throws. Okay. This is something that I did not consider, but it's nice to have. Right, let's just give the... Hmm. Why can't I use guidance? I don't know. Maybe there's someone next to me that makes casting spells not work anymore. Unbloody believable. Uh, let's hope this works. Great! Of course! Of course we fail. Of course we Oh, we do get an inspiration though, somehow. Alright, what happens if we just uh, try to read through this? All you can see are those symbols. All you can hear are the whispers. There is nothing else. Interesting. Oh, I think I know how this works. Situational disadvantage. Uh huh. Why? Yeah, this is so mean. Come on. Of course, we get a button. Unbloody believable. I should have used inspiration charges for that. Every symbol seems to burn your eyes. You can feel them sear. Into your mind, into your soul. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Hmm. I turn to turn another page. All right. It's still situational. Still not working. And I actually want to die. Thank goodness. At least we got something. The glyphs. Your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. All right, secrets of the necromancer. Great. 
we got an inspiration chart, which is great. Okay. All knowledge is worth having. Sure. Another... Wait. I think it's just one inspiration point. So, now the big question is... We... Haha! <laughs> can speak with the dead now. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh... And I think... I only got one spell. I don't see another spell in here. Or maybe there's some kind of... Oh, there's a passive. What's this? Baleful knowledge. Dark whispers per pervade the creature's mind. Disadvantage on wisdom checks. Condition. For how long? Forever. Oh, crap. Um. Where? <laughs> We are cursed now. Uh, can you uncurse yourself? Oh, this is stupid. Okay. Baleful knowledge. Disadvantage on wisdom checks. The thing is, if the thing in here is kind of a wisdom check because we are a ranger. Oh, this is not good. Uh, maybe this is always the... I don't know if it's always wisdom. Well, maybe it is kind of wisdom because we try to use our intellect uh, to read this book, right? Uh, but now we have a disadvantage on wisdom checks. This is so stupid. The thingy that I actually wanted the most, like wisdom save, wisdom save, whatever. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Uh, and that one here as well. Now I can't even use it properly. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have read that. Um, let's see. Who would be... Hmm, do you even get the Baleful Knowledge uh, effect? What's the Sorcerer? Magician. Whatever. What's Gale? What path lies before me? Maybe over there. Okay. Ah! How can I help? Well, uh, it was a pity you're listening. No. Uh, so soon I was enjoying our moment alone. Uh huh. Now, this is again one of those relationship situations. Perfect. Hmm. There seem to be items in here, but. Well met. Yeah. Anything in here? No. Interesting. When it comes to the book, we don't seem to have gotten anything out of it, is it? Open up the book, embrace your potential, yada yada yada. The thing about... Oh, wait. Completed quests. Uh, nope. They're not sorted in a timely fashion. Okay. Uh, embrace your potential. I think it was somewhere over there. Yeah. Discover the artifacts. Secret. Ah, uh, we found a Vanky map. That was that. No. Somewhere in there, that was the book. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The tomb. Unlock the ancient tomb. Uh, we managed to read most of the book, uh, absorbing some of the necromantic power, but it snapped shut before we could finish it. There must be a way to reach the end. Yeah, there must be a way to reach the end. The question is just how do we do this? Um, let's just save. Twisted Bindings. Uh, powerful Eldritch Bonds connects this relic and its owner. Let's see if we can uh, get through this You've again. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs. Without a key, they may be locked away forever. Oh, now I can't do anything anymore. Interesting. Without a key. I'm definitely not going to sacrifice too much of that. We need a key. Um, but the thing is, didn't we already put the key in it? And now it has no magic in it anymore. Strange, 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 strange. Was that the right one? Yeah, that was the right one. Hmm. Wait, where's the book? I just moved the book into the bag. No. What? Huh? 
Okay. It cannot be... Wow. Okay, we are now bound to the book. Great. Um, oh, okay. So, if this icon uh, is here, the twisted binding, whatever, then it binds you to this artifact. So, we have a mysterious artifact, and we have this one. What about the mysterious artifact? Well, we are binded items. Many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. Where have we heard that one before? Okay, uh, we could try to force it open, drop it on the ground. Uh, uh, force it. Well, maybe we can just do something with it. Who knows? Hmm. But how do we force it open? We can fiddle with it. Probably spikes our hand or something. Yield. <sighs> Tough luck. Let me know if you need to borrow a little elbow grease. Hmm. I definitely need something else for that to work. Where's... Hmm. Maybe we need a... Oh. I think I know how I could... Do that properly. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, I need a party comparison. Top of group high, top of group mode. No, wait, this is the wrong one. Um, oh, no, there. Hmm. There is no party management thing. The only thing that you can do is, like, uh, let them leave your, uh, your side a little bit uh, and then come back again. Uh, okay. Where's a star when you need him? Somewhere over there. Need something? Yeah, you in the camp. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, right. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Hmm, right. Actually, never mind. Yeah, please just stop. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds mm. awful. Right. So... And he is gone. By the way, let's just look at this inventory thingy over here. Okay, so the items don't change, which is perfect. Uh, I need Gale. Go ahead. I'm listening. Right. Uh, Jummy, why don't you? Yes. With pleasure. Lead on. So, he leveled up. But I don't care about his levels. Not much. 16,000 experience. Oh, crap. Do I want to level up Gale? I don't know. <laughs> I could do this later. Um, For now, let's just try to open that. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs. Without a key. Well, that's not working. Right. So, him in the team does not work. Uh, and I cannot give this item to someone else. So, there's only one chance you have with that. And we kind of messed that one up. Huh. How do I get rid of baleful knowledge? I have to uncurse myself somehow. Uh, what is a curse thingy? A small group of conditions that hinder or harm you during combat. Curse, 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 curse. I need to figure out a way to get rid of curses. Oh, uh, and this one right here can go up there. There you go. At least now we still have some nice spells. I think a speak with the dead is one of the easiest spells you could find. But no. No, we messed that one up. All right. Uh, let's just save. Level up Gale while we're at it. And then we can get a star in back. Unconfirmed character, what? What do you mean, unconfirmed character? Huh. It's interesting that he is immediately level 4. That's strange. Choice pending. A 
okay. Did I ever level them up the the previous uh, levels also? I don't know. It's kind of strange. Okay, let's just give it some interesting cantrips also. Um, minor illusion? No. He's going to be an... Um, let's give him some electric uh, powers. Why not? So, shocking grasp. Kind of funny. Uh, attack cannot use reactions. This spell has advantage on creatures with metal armor. Oh, yeah. So, melee, of course. That's the only negative thing about it. Hmm. Only real negative thing about it. So, let's just give him that. And some interesting spells. Actually, a cantrip for a wizard would be something that has more range, right? Acid splash, for example. Uh, bubble of acid that damages each creature it hits. Yeah, it's not only that. No, wait a minute. It only says damage. An acid kind of damage. Uh, but there's no acid effect happening, is there? <sighs> Take only half the damage from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks. You have to constantly apply that, and it uses up an action, which is not nice. Uh, not nice, not nice, not nice. Okay, so let's see. He doesn't need any uh, funny spells, sadly. Funny spells are the coolest. Nerf's arrow, kind of cool. There. Shoots a green thingy over here. Acid, acid, acid. Nothing in here. Just acid damage, but no acid effects. Rare sickness makes you poison. With poison damage. Right. Uh, what was it that I was looking for? I was looking for like... Electro-ish kind of spells. Is there no light? Why, why can't I see any lightning in here? Some bluish things. Dark vision and other things. No. Mirror image. Kind of cool. But nope. Mm, each flammable target is hit with so and so much fire damage. Sure. We also have some webbing. Oh, hold person is me. Okay. But if anything, uh, like an AOE would be kind of nice to have. Oh, shatter. It damages all nearby creatures and objects. Creatures with what? Uh, creatures made made of inorganic materials such as stone have disadvantage on their saving throw. Okay, we can throw. They deal half damage with weapon uh, attacks using strength. That's good. Hmm. Each flammable target is hit with 3 to 8 fire damage. Huh. Each of them. That's a nice shotgun spell. Throw a shot of ice. It deals 1 to 10 piercing damage. It explodes and deals so much cold damage to anyone nearby. It leaves an ice surface. Okay. That's an interesting AoE spell there. What's the poison thing again? Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Two turns. Hmm. Blinding spell for one turn. I mean, you could also just use blind, right? <laughs> uh, this is a very nice spell to take down like a high level foe immediately. Oh, Conjure a Cloud of Spinning Daggers that attack anyone inside. Oh, this is good. Problem is this one in hold person. Oh, that would be really mean. One uses the hold person and the other one uses the cloud of daggers and then it goes just for 10 times. That's a lot of damage. All right. That is a lot of damage. Okay, so... Targets still take half damage on save. Okay. And this is also on save. Freed A. Freed 6. Damage is only by creatures and objects. I mean... Why not? Yeah, let's just go with Shatter. Because it also does, like, bonus damage. Or, like, not bonus damage. Um, it gets, like, disadvantage on enemies. Specific ones, yes, but it still does. Uh, what's this one? Deal damage to a creature each turn. The type of damage changes to the last type the creature suffered. Phantasmal Force is cool, but you have to keep the enemy alive for a very long amount of turns, and I don't like that. 
So the ice knife is kind of the best thing. The spell can be cast while you are silenced. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Piercing damage explodes and deals to anyone nearby. Yeah. And it makes icy surface, which means enemies fall or have a chance of falling. Hmm. Yeah. Let's use those two. That sounds good. Uh, and prepared spells. I can just change the spells no matter what. Ah. The normal one. Link yourself to a target. Do lightning damage. Sure. That's a level 2 thing. Fire ray. The warp thingy. Then there's this. What do we have here? Hmm. Having different kind of spells available might be really nice. Does he need mage armor, to be honest? No. Okay, this is until long rest. It's a permanent thing. It's actually kind of good. Hmm. It's also not another condition. So yeah, he can keep that. Um, witch bolts. Possibly create a surface impact. Uh, alternatively, choose a different type of damage. The thing is, this is really good. Chromatic orb is just... Oh, you don't need specific spells. Or at least, if you only need uh, a certain kind of damage, right? Chromatic orb is good. If you need a certain effect on top of that, uh, then just use something else. Each deals so and so much damage. 36 damage, right? It's not that much more. Is Thea on the other hand? This is pretty neat. Because it annoys enemies. And the witch thing as well. Wait a minute. Does the sphere need concentration? Yeah. The problem with concentration is you cannot cast multiple... I don't know. Maybe you can cast concentration spells. But I just don't know how. Uh, chance to ensnare target if it is not a plant or beast. Right. Water sparks are there. Electrify water. When the aura stands in water during combat, it becomes electrified. And if the aura starts their turn on electric surface, they gain free lightning charges. Sure. Sculpt spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws against these spells and take no damage from them. This is kind of useful. Right. Um, lightning. Magic missile. Shoot free missile dart. D missile darts. With some damage. Yeah. Interesting. 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 I have an ice knife land, but uh, now I can't really use it because reasons. Hmm. I mean, do I need thunder wave for this? I do already have shatter, right? I don't need thunder wave. I would say. Uh. What other spell would be nice to have? Cover the ground in grease, slowing creatures within and possibly making them fall prone. Grease, grease, grease. Isn't grease also flammable or something? Grease and fire might be a really, really mean combination. I could get rid of thunder and get some grease in there, just in case. Yeah, I, I want to know this. Uh, I can just change it afterwards anyway. And this little piggy gets grease spells, so ability improvement. Mm, oh boy, that's a problem. Okay, he has like 12 charisma. His main stat is intellect. All right. Uh, strength and dexterity increases by one to a maximum of 20. No. Crossbow, defense, dungeon delver. Uh, made to detect. Nope. You gain resistance to the damage dealt by traps. This is actually kind of cool. Nah. Elemental adept. Your spells and attacks ignore resistance to a damage type of your choice. When you cast spells of that type, you cannot roll a one. This is amazing. Now the question is, yeah, we are going for lightning. Okay. This sounds like a really good one. Resistance damage. They could still be immune to this damage type, but let's just try that. When you land a critical hit or kill a target with a melee attack, you can make another melee attack. No. 
So, that's also like... Ma no, we are not going for Mage Slayers, I think. Lucky is funny, but no. Again, Armor Proficiency? Nah. Martial Artist, Magic Initiate, Wizard. Oh, you learn two cantrips. And the level one spell from the Wizard spell list. Nah, not yet. Uh, mobile? Nah. No. Performer? No. Pull on Master? We're attacking with a Glaive, Halberd, Quarterstaff, or Spear. You can use a bonus action to attack with the but of your weapon. Increase in ability by one. Is he already proficient? Human versatility. Okay, select an additional skill to be proficient in. I don't know what skills he is proficient in anyway, but alright. Sharpshooter, Sentinel. Um. No. Savage Attacker. When making melee weapon attacks, you roll your damage dice twice and use the highest result. No. You learn to ritual spells? No. Just two. No. No. War cast. You gain advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on spells. Yeah, you can also use reaction to cast shocking grasp at a target moving out of melee range. Yeah, that's good. That's a very, very nice combo, actually. Lightning and shocking grasp. Let's give him that. Just two more level up, and then I'm gonna kick him out of the team. <laughs> oh, I know. So, elemental adapt lightning, sweet. So, what kind of spells can we learn now? Level three spells. Uh huh. So, we got blink. Uh, at the end of your turn, roll a d20. On 11 or high, you vanish into the ethereal plane. While there, you can't be harmed or seen in this world, anything else. When you do vanish, your presence here is a representation of the location you will come back to. You can choose to teleport uh, it up to 6 meters. Okay. Bestow curse. Curse a creature with your touch. The curse either bestows disadvantage on checks and saving throws or attacks. Let's deal additional damage to the target or robs it of its action. Ooh. Again, another concentration thing. Create an undead servant from a corpse. Ooh, that's good. Anything else? Put an ally in a protective coma. They become resistant to all damage except psychic. Disease and poison have no effect. Interesting. Feign death. It's not a thing you do yourself. It's like, you feign. Uh, okay, so we got like the fireball, of course. Ah. Uh, shoot a bright flame from your fingers that explode upon contact, touching everything in the vicinity. A lot of damage. And what else we got? We got a lightning ball. Uh-huh. Hits all creatures in the line of the eruption. Sure. What else we got? Anything else lightning related? Doesn't really look like it. Looking for the color. Don't see anything. Sleet storm. Call forth a storm that disrupts the concentration of spell causes, downs his fire, and creates an ice surface. And does no damage. Hmm. Touch a creature uh, to grant it resistance to. And it says all. Okay. Does it mean that we get resistance to every element, or do I have to select one? Oh, hypnotic pattern. Pretty neat. Oh, haste. Haste is good. Uh, target yourself or an ally to become hastened. Gain an action, become faster, and gain plus two to armor class. Haste spells are amazing. This is one of the spells that I actually want to be able to cast. But if you think about it, uh, just using a haste potion might be the better thing to do, right? Uh, Glyph of Warden? No. Uh, the ground when stepped on by an enemy, the selected magical effect will trigger. Uh huh. So we have to select an effect first. Right. Stinging cloud. Create a cloud of gas so nauseous it prevents creatures from taking actions. This, this right here might be the single best AoE spells ever. It's just an AoE lockdown spell. <laughs> taking actions, but they can still move. And it also doesn't give you any bonuses on, uh, like, any advantages or something. 
only thing it does is it makes it possible for melee characters to not hit you. Uh, but ranged ones, that may work. Ah, okay, so now we're just the level 2 ones here. Yeah. So level 1, not necessary. Uh, level 2, I selected before. So let's just focus on this thing here. Touch an enemy to save from their life force and regain half as many hit points. Nah. I'm gonna go for lightning bolt. <laughs> uh. Oh, remove curse. Touch a creature or object to remove all curses and hexes affecting it. <gasps> and we are cursed, right? How convenient that might be to have someone in here able to cast that spell. All right. Um, what else we got for lightning, of course. How convenient. <laughs> Uh. So, what's this one? Uh, your cantrips become harder to evade entirely. When a creature succeeds its uh, saving throw against one of your cantrips, it still takes half the cantrips damage, but suffers no additional effect. Wait, what? Interesting. So, like, all of the uh, only take, like, half damage kind of thing. So, um, put creatures into a magic slumber, select targets up to a combined 24 hit points. Uh, it says a combined 24 hit points, but how many enemies already have 24 hit points? That's ridiculous. Um,. Like, this spell needs to be upcast in order to be more more better, right? Because the thing about sleep is, it lets you deal, I think, an automatic crit uh, against them or something like that. Which can boost your damage dramatically. So, sleep, crit, sleep, crit, sleep, crit. Really nice idea. Okay, so what kind of spells do I want to keep? Do I want a uh, magic missile for this dude? I don't know. Probably not. Um, maybe the only mage without magic missile. So let's get rid of this. And I want the remove cards on his prepared spells. And uh, instead of well, witch bolt is something we can activate. Scorching ray. Do I want him to scorch stuff? No. We want this stuff here. He's going to lightning. Uh, right. That should be a. Uh, that should be it. So, any more spells? The same, but we can now learn more. Right. Uh, infuse a weapon with an arcane energy. The weapon becomes magical, receiving a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. Concentration. Again, this would only be good for characters that deal weapon damage. Uh, it doesn't say merely. It could be any uh, kind of thing. You can use this to uh, buff your own weapon. Oh, that would be kind of funny. Until long rest. Oh, this is so mean. Anything else there? When you are about to be hit by an enemy, increase your armor class by 5. You take no damage from magic missile. Actually, shield might be a very nice situational thing because it's in reaction. Anything else, though? Target up to six creatures and slow them. Movement and actions are affected. And their AC and dexterity saves are reduced by two. Oh. Ten turns, that's interesting. Armor class reduction by two on multiple targets. It's actually kind of kind of nice. A clouded dagger thing. Oh. Wait a minute. This one has sculpt spells. Create pockets of safety within your evocation spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws against these spells and take no damage from them. Which means if I have an AOE. Um, effect like this one over here 
that would constantly deal damage. Actually, Fireball in conjunction with that would be really neat. But anyway, um, wait a minute. How much damage would that be? That attack anyone inside for 10 turns. So it's basically 160 damage, which is a lot of damage. Um, targets drop everything and become fearful. They have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. For how many turns? If the target ends their turn, um, but they can't see you, they can make another saving throw to shake off their fear. Interesting. So they have to turn around. Pretty nifty. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the Cloud of Dagger thingy. That might be very, very interesting. Okay, Gale. Ready and willing. Yes, I... First and foremost, uh, I want you to... Uh, let's just increase the rows in here a bit. So, I need to sort things. This is like a defensive thing. This is situational. This is situational. This is a special one. This is damage. This is a cantrip. Uh, this is a spell. Uh, okay. Cantrips go over here. Mage armor is a permanent kind of bonus. Doesn't need anything else. It's just there. Uh, grace thingy tier one. Sleep. This is concentration. This is another cantrip. Goes to the left. This is the remove curse thing. Very nice. Utility. Like grease. Um... This is a spell. That one goes to the right. This is a cantrip. Goes to the left. Um, all right. What is this? Uh, lightning level one. That's conjuration. That was level two. And that was a cantrip. That one goes to the left. Uh, that one goes over here. So, situations. Arcane recovery goes to the top right. That is a level 3 thingy. That's tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. Situational. Situational conjuration. Situational conjuration spell. Say that three times in a row. No, we are going to have two pockets. Um, One for damage. One, two, and four. Ready. That's conjuration spell. Something that does damage. It's also orbs, somewhat, right? Uh, so that could kind of work. And that is a utility thing. That is also a utility thing. Conjuration one. Da 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 da. da. All right. And the mage hand is a conjuration cantrip. <sighs> Let's just keep it there. I think. Okay, let's lock that. And now let's just uncurse ourselves. There you go. Let's hope this works. There you go. No more baleful knowledge problems. Thank you, Gail. Uh, problem solved. I love it. Now, the big question is, how much damage can he do with uh, pretty much no items? That's strange. This one is an orange. Whereas this one is not. Huh. That's weird. That's really, really weird. But yeah, while we're at it, uh, let's just go to the okay. camp stash. No, wait a minute. I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't need to do this. I have the camp stash right up here. <laughs> oh, she has to speak with the dead necromancy. Mm. Right. Only problem is I don't know if this is supposed to be a cantrip or a a long rest thing. Mm. Again. So let's see. Um, I am looking for a stuff weapon ish. Could be anything though, but I'm looking for this kind of things. Misty step, kind of nice. Uh, screams, no. Something that would be good for Gale. 
Is there anything in here that looks like I am magic? No. Ah, there. So, I am looking for a stuff stuff. Uh, we can only sword. Spell sparkler. There you go. Uh, chance to ensnare targets if it is not a plant or a beast. And ensnare was no movement. Cannot move and take damage per turn. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage while the creature's attack rolls in the state of choice have disadvantage. Okay, so this is really good. I just have no idea how to trigger that. Passive feature. If it is not a plant or beast. If it's not a plant or beast, it gets fly trap. Hmm. When the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain two lightning charges. Okay. Lightning causes for you. You have plus one to attack rolls and deal an additional one lightning damage. If you gain five charges and are consumed, the next time you deal damage, you deal an additional one to eight lightning damage. Okay, so the spell sparkler for him is actually also a very nice damaging stuff. Pretty cool. I just don't know why the damage is 0 to 7. As if the stuff never hurts. Shut up, flail. Rare. What's that? Uh, oh. Not proficient in these things. Oh, morning frost. Yeah, that's also a thing. Uh, is this a maze? No, the stuff. Mm, rare frost evocation cantrip. I mean, we already know that. When dealing cold damage, the wielder deals an additional one cold damage. Same as the lightning thing. Dealing cold damage with a spell possibly inflicts chilled upon the target. With a spell. No, cold damage with a spell, sorry. But we are not focusing on cold damage, are we? Lightning charges. Lightning causes for you. You have da 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 Hmm. Tech rolls against the creature have advantage while the creatures... And snared is actually really good. Cannot move and takes on so much pierce damage per turn. I mean, it's more druid kind of stuff, right? And this would be much better. But the 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 fact that it has on team play is much better. It's just that lightning for Gale and the build that I have chosen right now is just much more useful. Ah, always the same. FOD time. And what about this one? A blessing. Grants an additional 1 to 4 to saving frozen weapon uh, attack rolls and an additional 2 d4 to spell attack rolls. Which means it's Mistra stuff. Isn't he like a follower of Mistra kind of thing? Like that would be kind of neat. Uh, which means that his spells, whatever, are more likely to hit, which is good. Hmm. But then again, I would need to use the blessing spell constantly, right? It's always prepared and long vest. Hmm. And it's also a concentration thing. Ah. But at least it doesn't use up a spell slot. At least it seems. That's actually, maybe, a very good idea, especially for spellcasters. He could just buff himself like that, and deal tons of damage. Sounds like a good thing, yes. Except for the fact that the daggers would not work then again anymore. Hmm. Spell sparkler or not? I am not quite sure. I'm gonna keep the flytrap because this one doesn't need to be activated or anything. Uh, okay, uh, what about mage armor? Do we have anything? Rare clothing. Protect these sparkle. Hmm. I see a pattern emerging. You gain plus one bonus to spell save DCs. The warrior has plus one bonus to armor class and saving first as long as they have lightning charges. Okay. Looks like. Um... We are going to give him the lightning treatment. What kind of boots does he have? 
Water's box. Hmm. The water stands in the water during combat. It becomes electrified. If the water starts that turn or electrified water, they gain free lighting charge. He gets the lightning treatment. Okay. There you go. Okay, my staff goes back here. And that simple rope he doesn't need to carry anymore. There you go. Hmm. Could there be more though? Uh any Amulet related. Uh, most of the amulets I have on me, right? Lightning blast. Lightning blast. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wait. What is this? Focus the electricity in your veins to strengthen your lightning spell uh, or cantrip. Your next lightning spell or cantrip deals additional lightning damage equal to your remaining lightning charges. Uh, long rest only. Okay. On hit, all of your lightning charges are consumed. Wow. The thing is, you can only do this once. And you have to do a... Yeah, basically, uh, the problem is with this one. Is that in order to use this properly, you have to have an awful lot of lightning charges. Hmm. And I don't like that sound that I hear in the background right now. <laughs> Uh, but to be honest, uh, let's just give Gale the Blast Pendant as well, so that we have, like, the most synergy for him. So, then he also needs uh, two more Lightning Rings. Uh, thought I had them somewhere in there. Or not. I don't see any ring in here, so that's okay. Oh, a cap, yes. Um, something helmet -y related. A lightning helmet. A lightning helmet. So, there we go. The borough can't be electrocuted. Grants resistance to lightning damage, yes. <laughs> uh... Wait a minute, this one has some interesting stuff in there. That one is empty. That one has some remaining items. What about this one? The Sparkle Hands! There you go. On a hit with an unarmed weapon, the one against two lightning charges. Uh, while imbued with lightning charges, it attacks against metal constructs and foes wearing metal armor gain advantage. Uh, it says attacks. I don't know if that would also work for... Wizards, but all right. Uh, okay, that one goes in here. That one also goes in here. That one also goes in there. And pearls too. There you go. Ah, what a nice little collection. Oh wait, we got more stones. More precious little stones. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. He doesn't have anything on the hands. Okay. Uh, what about those? They already deals an additional da 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 with throwing things. Your armor class is increased by one additional. If you have body inspiration, you gain one more use of it. Maybe the electric stuff was on uh, Nostarian, wasn't it? No. Nope, that was not him. I thought somewhere, someone had sparkle stuff for hands. Okay, let's just give him that anyway. He gets the sparkling treatment. Uh, now I just need uh, sparkling helmets. Like a 
something like this. Okay, Vara can't be electrocuted. I mean, I can use this situationally, but I think I'm not going to switch that. But I will hate myself to not have this in my inventory instead of times. Um, so, what would be a good one? Uh, after shoving an enemy? Nope. Nope. Ah! No. Um, Unbloody believable. I can't find it. He doesn't have that. Either you can buy it. Or oh, I've forgotten it exists. Something like that, yeah. A circle. I'm just probably just not able enough to fight. <laughs> uh Yeah, it's my fruit stuff. Strange alchemy. Ah, that's why there's alchemy. I have to be very careful to not accidentally use this owl bag. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, where's Gale? Ah, he was at the stash. Uh, let's just get him out of the team real quick. What's on your mind? Well, uh, I need to remain in camp. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Mm-hmm. Uh, perhaps we will travel later together. Again. I'll be here in the meantime. Sure. Never wanted the easy path. Now let's see. Could I? Let's just save. Uh, could I maybe open that book again without getting myself cursed? You've seen much of the book, but it's most powerful. Nothing. Okay, so you use it once, you get cursed, uh, and that curse made all the wisdom checks not work anymore, which is a bit iffy. Okay, so what you n should have done instead uh, is to have someone with an anti-curse spell. That uh, uncurses you once you are cursed, so you can continue reading uh, without any penalties. That would have been good. And of course, a guiding spell, this thing here, but it doesn't work if there is a. For some reason, this one wasn't there. I don't know. I think the Sasa uh, effect took place and. Overrode it or something happened. I don't know. Maybe I just Maybe it's just I hadn't it equipped it. That could also be a thing. Maybe I was just stupid. So let's just get us Darian back yes. in the team. Yes, yes. So but no, I need you in the party. Yes. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Mm -hmm. Lead on. Right. Four thousand something experience. Why does he Oh, now I understand. Okay, so you have a certain amount of experience for a level, right? Um, but the character's level is only remembered, right? And once they are back in your team, they get the remaining amount of experience. All right. What now? Just like that. Um, okay, so as long as they're in the camp, they are just level so-and-so. Uh, in this case, level six. Or what level is Gale? By the way? Oh, level six. Um, as I said, as long as they are in camp, they are level six. But then, hmm, huh, interesting. And then they gain the experience. Hmm. So wait, there's no level indicator over here. Not really. You can only infer it. <laughs> <laughs> the most powerful wizard in the camp waiting not doing anything so uh yeah let's end the uh, day over here in the my corners. yes can i do something oh okay so wait a minute we have two options here we got either astarian right uh 
and we have uh, Lizelle. Very interesting. Those two are the ones that I kind of had a romantic relationship with. But I don't know if this is quest related um, or if this is relationship related. There needs to be a different icon indicating that, right? Like a little hard question mark or exclamation thingy or whatever. Uh, or the whole thing in like pink or purple or whatever, in red. Anything that you would connect with, uh, yeah, relationships, whatnot. Okay, so I already did a very long episode leveling up Gale and not doing much about it. Uh, let's talk to them in the next one and do the little long rest session. Uh, let's see how many long rests I can actually do. <laughs> Until next time, like and subscribe, of course. And ta -ta.